peace, 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 love and light, Marched Our Family. Welcome back. Um, the title of today's video will be based on the dualistic or duality found in the third dimension. Uh, when I refer to duality, I'm referring to um, the spectrums of bipolarity, of uh, good or bad, um, black and white, like those those whole kind, like there has to be opposing sides. For example, black and white, they uphold white as being good and black as being bad. So good or bad is still found in these spectrums or being against or just for negative and positive connotation, negative energy, positive energy. Those are the bipolarities for a dualistic or a dual mindset or dualistic energy um, that's, that's carried down here in the third dimension because... You look at people who say that they're for, you know, protecting and serving the people, but at the same time, they they they, they can say that at in one breath, but then be the dirtiest person or a criminal down like behind closed doors. Um, like I said, that that's just like a um, a but double-minded people. Like they 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 talk a good game. They 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 talk one thing um as far as like whether it's information but then they don't live the life that they speak of more or less it's all it's all talk meaning double-minded people are always confused people meaning uh double dualistic PR people are more or less confused on like what they want to do in life or for example um it's, it's more or less like uh just the the fact that you you have to keep interchanging from good or bad because good and bad are never permanent so they want you to be good but they know deep down good and bad are are not really real concepts because they they can be interchanged based off their definition like for people who use the bible like the slave masters was using the Bible to keep us enslaved, but we were taught to use the use the Bible to be to be submissive towards our our so-called Lord or so-called God, which was the white man. So, like I said, everything is used interchangeably, but it's still dualistic because it'll it'll be good or bad, whether depending on which side of the spectrum you want to be on. But if you're in the middle you you're, you're neither bothered or affected by either side because neutrality it, it puts you in your own bubble more or less if it, it puts you more in like a direct path or a direct current that goes outside of the basic concepts and constructs of good and bad because good and bad like i said they're, they're not really real the more or less illusions that were set up to control people hey this is good right here you know hey killing Killing black folks was considered good back in the day, but we all know at the, at the end of the day that that's not good at all. That's not necessary, and that's not a form of, of being good <laughs> or being bad. I mean, I mean, or I mean, just just being good. Period. So, like I said, everyone's definitions uh, is what makes this dualistic world more and more or less like a. It's a bad place because everyone's entitled to feel a certain way and people go off the whole thing of free will free will is a dualistic mindset because free will can mean anything free will, free will can mean anything pretty much oh just because i have free will that means i can go up here and kill like five people but hey it's free will right that that doesn't make it it doesn't make it necessary or make it good or bad so like i said free will goes it, it goes out the window because people are able to interchange it like Oh, you know, we're we're all worshiping like the like Christians that I've I've talked to Christians before. These Christians will say, "Well, we're all worshiping the same God," but I'm like, these people worship the God, but you y'all speak of in a in a different aspect when it came to enslaving our people. But then when it came to us trying to get out of slavery, there there was no God coming to save our people. There was no Jesus Christ coming to save our people. It was all just made up to control people. That that's all that it was, logically speaking. Back then, and even to this day, you still have that same mental, like bipolarity or mental dualistic or that dual mindedness between people. Like they, they know that the shit that they're believing in is not real, but they still want to go on with it and still think like like that. They've been so encapsulated and so brainwashed, but they don't see how dual minded it is to be able to say that in one breath that hey, I'm a Christian, but hey, but then in like the next breath. Hey, um, I do drugs or I'm a killer at, at the same time. 
you have those people in church they're what you call degenerates the homosexuals oh i believe in a christ but i'm but i'm also a homo i'm, I'm also a homosexual too <clears throat> like i said bipolarity is is confusion being able to talk about oh i'm i'm good and bad that that's that's very confusion i mean com confusing because what what does good and bad mean to certain people it, it doesn't mean the same like i guess universally good and bad aren't, aren't the same don't mean the same to everyone else so how could you use that term good and bad as a, a i guess a ground point or a grounding point to where everything is neutral you can't neutrality means but you don't but you don't get involved neutrality requires non-involvement and more or less focusing and being on the direct path that you're told to be on or that you been seen to to be on right now or what's what what's working for you um but i guess the dualistic mindset or the duality that's found in third dimension like i said it'll always be those basic concepts good and bad positive and negative but positive and negative are even in a, a, a electrical positive and negative are the same thing because it's still alternative current at the end of the day like I said, it's still alternative current at the end of the day, positive and negative. When you're running wires for like electrical work, it, everything is still it's, it's still considered to be energy. It's still it's still alternative current, neutral and neutral, or positive and positive. It's still, still the same thing. But they they just do that to basically identify which is which. But however, it's still the same thing. It's still power, <laughs> good and bad. Happy and sad are all emotions. Whether it's a good or a bad, it's still bottom line, they're emotions. So what makes them different from, it's just more or less how people, I guess, use their minds more or less or what they describe it as. But at the same time, it doesn't take away from reality. Emotions are emotions, good and happy and sad are emotions, but not different. They're different based off the how you use the word, but in actuality, it's still the same. Because happiness doesn't last forever, last forever, and being sad doesn't last forever. They're all temporary, and they they can hit you at any time of the day, interchangeably. <laughs> people people who are what you call bipolar, the word bipolar is literally <laughs> right there. In one moment, their minds they can be happy. Next moment they could be sad, and they're like they're always going through a cycle of emotions because more or less because we live in a dualistic or a dual-minded reality uh, in the third dimension where people people can't really focus or have that direct connection on a, on one singular path. They they get confounded with many options by the people that they're surrounded by. People give them many options, which will throw them or deter them from their path. It can be family, it can be friends, but you have these people who are purpose are meant to do this because it's meant to stop you from evolution and growing. It's meant to stop you and continue to go through your evolution. So you have these so you have these people who will try to do any and everything, whether it's knowing knowingly or unknowingly, they, they do this thinking they're trying to be helpful, but they're they're causing confusion even at the smallest level because we can put this in like a more extended version, more or less, like you have children who are graduated from high school that don't, a lot of them don't know what they want to do in life, but they're being, you know, bombarded with all these options like going to the army or, or, or doing this or doing this in their life. But if that's what they want to do, they're only being told and being controlled and told what to do because they the people tell them what to do know that that child or that person is confused at that stage of their life so they think they assisting them with all these options that's going to help but it doesn't it makes them more and more confused and they don't know what to do in life having options is probably the worst worst thing that can happen to a person because when you have options it, it makes it harder to hone in onto one particular field on one 
particular aspect in your life that you want to focus on. You're going to always have people try to get you, confuse you that way, but it's always good to have a singular neutral path to go on. Neutrality, independent, all all have the same vibrate off the same energy because you you choose to be different or go outside the boundaries that's being already being built for you or told you have to go off of. You go through new the the spectrum and realm of, of neutrality and basically being independent, neutral, neither left or right. You're more or less independent. You move out of time pretty much. You're timeless because when you're timeless, you don't um, limit yourself or operate yourself off the confounds and the concepts of people who live here in the third dimension. We don't like, and that's, that's how a lot of these, these celestial energy beings operate. They don't operate all time. Time is not really a thing for them when they can go back and forth through time. When well, we can't do that yet. <laughs> They're the masters of time. God's master of time. God's master of places and possessions. We can't do that because a lot of us are being controlled or or being fed garbage that keeps us in an alter alternative mindset going from a good or bad mindset emotions happy or sad mindset like it's that's just how the world operates because that's that's the way it is it's, it's a very unstable realm anything with three instead of four anything that's odd is very unstable people who are lunatics have are very odd people they're unstable their minds aren't firing on, on all pistons and all pins. So you'll have certain people that just, that just don't act what would you consider to be normal. But um, going back on topic, that, that dualistic mindset causes a lot of confusion in, in many people's lives. But um, more or less, I just hope that this video made, made a lot of sense because um, it, it took a lot to be able to like break this down basically to make it understandable for everyone but um more or less like uh <clears throat> more or less the dualistic mindset or i guess having a double double-minded people will never be able to uh like i said choose that right path to go on um they'll, they'll always be in limbo switching and alternative or basically having alternative energy um or, or alternative mindsets jumping from good to bad or never staying focused or never having a straight path to, to success or just a straight path that constantly evolves them they're going to constantly be caught up in a rotation or a, re a revolution because when you're going from good and bad technically speaking you're, you're constantly going in revolution you're constantly going in a circle and basically lines represent evolution in in, a, in in an aspect because when you when you're constantly going in a straight line things are progressing around you things don't stay the same or come back and do the same thing over you're going to expect new things to appear out of that linear path but when you're constantly in a circular path operating off bipolarity or duality like good or bad or happy and sad you're gonna constantly get those same emotions of good, bad, happy, or sad. Things won't ever change because they're in a constant loop. Loops are revolutions. Loops don't go forward or don't evolve. Loops are in constant rotation, 360, nonstop, going nowhere. That's what you call a change, not evolution. So that, with that being said, more or less, um, a dualistic mindset is a circular mindset or a double-mindedness double a double-minded person is a person who thinks in circles a person who's always trying to evolve themselves or an evolving person always thinks forward or in a straight line they're thinking of the future the future is a straight path or a straight line outside the realm of, of present and past because future is neither past or present past and present are dualistic or or dualistic concepts because there's never a speak of the future the future is always straightforward there there's no looking back when you go to the future you can't look back because the past doesn't exist no more and the present doesn't exist no more 
that future is is always ongoing. It's timeless. It's eternal, which means no beginning, no end. Infinity means that it's constantly going to go on forever and forever and ever. But the difference being is infinity is not timeless. Eternity is timeless. There's no there's no limit. Infinity is always going to be like this is what I'm trying to make the comparison. Infinity is always going to go in a constant loop into a into nowhere. But eternity and evolution will always go straight forward. Because you won't, when you're evolving, when you're evolving, you won't go back to the state that you previously were at. That's the big difference between change and evolution, if that makes sense. But um, I'm going to end it right here. But just, just remember what to look out for in this dualistic or this double-minded society. Or just the dualistic um, double, or with duality in the third dimension. Just look out for these particular um, points that I brought out. Why does there have to be a good and bad? Why not a neutral or anybody unifying at this time? Because it's not meant to be. Everybody has what you call free will. And free will is another way to say, hey, everybody has the ability to be double-minded and use their definition of good and bad interchangeably, whether it's not a good for the next person or bad for the next person. It's, it's always interchangeable. And it's not really a, I guess it's not, it doesn't make sense. Deep down, we know it doesn't make sense, but people still play on it like like it does make sense, which is more or less creating more and more confusion. But I'm going to end it right here. Peace, love, and light. I'm out of here.